Alright everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you how to get Innocent Smoky Eye Look. Ignore that face in the beginning. First we're going to go ahead and start off by priming our eyelids with the um, Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This is just going to help create a base and make sure that our eyeshadow stays on all night with no creases and make sure that the colors have a lot of color payoff and make sure they're real vibrant. And you're just going to blend that out with your finger. Um, like I'm doing here and like I said this is just going to create a base today I will be showing you how to get an innocent smoky eye look like I said using the Stila in the Nights palette and Stila in the Moment palette most of the colors are from Stila in the Moment palette but I'll let you know exactly which color and from what palette I'm using first we're going to use Stila in the, in the Light palette using the color Bare and we're just going to place this all over our eyelid this is going to help create a base for all of our other eyeshadows and just place that all over your eyelid. Like I said, this is going to help create a base and make sure that our eyes are well blended. And just go ahead and keep doing that. And let me know if y'all have any requests that y'all want to see. I'm going to try and film, excuse the lighting in this video. It's a little off, but it's okay. Next, we're also going to be getting a e.l.f. Cosmetics Blending Brush using the color Bliss, also from the Stila in the Night palette. And it doesn't need to be perfect. We're going to blend this out in a little bit. I'm just putting this to help create a transition from our darker colors. And like I said, it doesn't need to be perfect. And I'm just going to get a clean blending brush to help blend that out. And this is going to help create a base for all the darker colors that we'll be applying in a second. And just blend it out until you're happy with what is blended. And just keep blending. So next what I'm going to do is get the color Improvis from the Stila in the Moment palette with the same e.l.f. Um, blending brush. We're just going to be putting that on the outer crease, kind of creating a V. Next I'm getting another clean brush and just to blend that out. You only want to put that in the outer V because it is a very dark, intensely color. With the clean Sephora blending brush, this is going to help blend out and make it look more faded. You want to slowly start blending it out in the back, kind of in circular motions, and then slowly bring it to the front that's going to make it look real faded. If you automatically put it in the front of front or part of your eye, it's going to be too harsh. So just put it on the outer V and slowly blend it forward. That is the key to a perfect smoky eye. Just keep blending, blending, blending. There can never be enough blending. I cannot stress that enough. And just go ahead and do the same thing to the other eye. This kind of shows you how I do it. I would only put it on the outer V to make it more smoky and just blend it and like I said there can never ever ever be enough blending see me messing up there here I'm just gonna get another this is a more denser blending brush and I'm just using that to blend out the harsher edges in the outer V since the color was real intense it's a little hard to blend but just keep doing it and sometimes I gotta look in the opposite way of the light and just to make sure that it's well blended next I'm getting another color from the Stila in the, in the light palette using sandstone and this is just going to help create a darker, smokier eye look. It's a pretty dark brown so you want to focus that only in the outer V also kind of overlaying Improvis and that's just going to help kind of smoke it out a bit. It was a little bit too harsh before so this the, the brown is just going to be blending it out more and just smoking it out if that kind of makes any sense you're just kind of layering the colors just to make it look more natural and not too harsh 
Then I'm just getting another blending brush, which is, doesn't have any product on it. Just use that to blend both of the colors out to make sure that it's faded. And blend on the inner area of your eye as well. You don't want to see any harsh lines at all on the entire eye look. And look away if you have to, like I do. <laughs> it always helps. Next, I'm going to be getting the color Wonder from the Stella in the Moment palette. This is a pretty shimmery, pink, beautiful color. It's very, very pretty. Just putting that on the inner part of my eyelid with a flat shader brush. Then I'm going to get another just blending brush just to blend the harsh lines out. Since the pink is a bright color, you're putting pink, which is a light color, near a darker color, you're automatically going to see the line from where they changed. So just using a blending brush just to help not to be able to notice the harsh line. And just keep doing the same thing. Like I said, a crap load of blending in this video. And I'm sorry if you get frustrated me saying that but just blend 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 that's just the key pretty much to a good smoky eye you never want to be able to see the harsh lines in the video not in the video but on the eye look you know what I'm trying to say this is basically how I'm saying the but next we're also going to get the same color that we originally put on our entire eyelid which is bare from the in the light palette and just put that on our brow bone that's just going to help accentuate everything after this i'll be getting a blending brush just to blend out the harsh line from the highlight and the darker colors Next, we're going to line our eyes with your favorite liquid eyeliner. I'm just using the NYX Double Up Liner, and this is a pretty good liner. It was like $10 at Ulta. I really like it. It's double-ended, so it has a regular like pencil liner, kind of retractable pencil liner, and then the liquid. I really like the felt tip that's on it. It makes it a lot easier to do like the cat eye. I'm not perfect with liner, but you know, practice means perfect. As long as I practice, then I can get it to how I want it. But don't stress out if you mess up. We all do. And if you can see there, I kind of use the felt, the felt tip to help make the cat eye. And just do the same thing to your other eyes. I would. Just line your eye with your eye. Liquid liner. And I try to make it thin in the front and make it a little bit thicker as it goes out so it's slowly getting bigger not just ba bam thick liner i can't really do thick liner because it makes my eyes look a crap load smaller than what they really are so i try to keep it as thin as possible there's some days when i just can't get it right and i'm just like oh this thick liner is getting on my nerves so i just wipe it all off but it's all right and just continue to do the liner What I'm going to do after is just curl the lashes. I didn't film this part, but then we're going to put mascara on. I'm using the CK1 Calvin Klein Black, Black Mascara. I really like it. It's a pretty good mascara. I have no complaints so far. If I can hurry up and get to that part. I'm sorry, I'm just putting a little bit more of the product of the Improvis color because sometimes whenever you do put liquid liner, it takes away the intensity of the smoky eye. So I just like to go back just a little bit just to make sure that it still has the intensity that I want it to have and also blend out the harsh lines of that. Okay, now we're putting the liner. I'm sorry. Now we're putting the mascara on. This is the CK1 Calvin Klein mascara, like I said, in black. And just go ahead and put that on your top lashes and lower lashes. Next, I'm getting the color Improvis from the Stila in the Lights palette. Just using a whatever brush 
I'll link that in the bottom section and just putting that on the outer lower lash line to help create a smokier look from the um, bottom as well then what I will be doing next is getting instinct from the Stila in the moments palette and just putting that on the inner corner of our eye to make our eyes look a little bit more awake so it still gives us that innocent wide awake look wide awake look and put that on the top as well and bam there's your eye look just do any touch-ups that you need to do blend anything away or put more mascara or anything here's an extra clip I wanted to show in I guess it would count as an eye tutorial as well I use the HD uh, photogenic concealer in by NYX in the number CW06 glow this doesn't really have any color to it it's more just to brighten up your eyes and I'm just using a brush from real techniques to blend that out and I like using this after I do the eyeshadow to help brighten up the eyes and make them look more awake but thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, everything will be listed in the bottom section down below. If you have any requests, let me know. Follow me on Instagram. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Until next time, love you guys. See you later.